Hello, I'm Juliette Sali. In this week's edition of IG Macro Intelligence, we take a deep dive into Maya Holdings. Retailer Maya had a challenging full year 24 as cost of living pressures saw consumers hold back on discretionary spending. Full year sales fell almost 3% and net profit after tax was down 26%. The decline in sales partly attributed to Maya's closure of stores alongside challenging macroeconomic conditions. However, comparable store sales increased by 0.4% year on year. As a result, though, of the profit decline, Maya cut its final dividend by 50% to half a cent per share. Total fully frank dividends for full year 24 came in at 3.5 cents per share. That was down 61% from full year 23. Shares in Maya slumped after the results were released to the market in mid-September. However, year to date, they've risen around 40% and a similar gain over the past 12 months. And that is more than double Accent Group's move in the same period. Fellow retailers Premier Investments and Harvey Norman have risen between 16 to 34% year to date and over the past 12 months respectively. Maya's Executive Chair Olivia Worth acknowledged that full year 24 was a challenging year for the ASX listed retailer saying that the result reflects the challenging macroeconomic environment. She went on to say, though, that Maya is laser-focused on improving its profitability, performance and shareholder returns, with the objective to identify opportunities to deliver a step change in Maya's market position and generate strategic and financial benefits. Worth and the board are now attempting to turn Maya's miseries around and have confirmed that due diligence is currently in progress regarding a potential merger with the apparel brands division of Premier Investments. Maya also plans to intensify its investment in its struggling Sass and Bide, Marks and David Lawrence brands, which contributed to the 26% drop in profit. Well, despite plunging 11% on the day Maya released its results to the ASX, shares do appear to be in a long-term uptrend. Few analysts cover the stock. However, the average recommendation on Maya shares, according to Refinitiv, is a buy. Audmanet has a hold recommendation on Maya, noting that discretionary retail stocks should improve due to talk of interest rate cuts and, of course, the tax cuts. But the broker advises caution in the near term due to a notable divergence amongst Maya's categories. Audmanet, meanwhile, has a price target of 75 cents for Maya. And Morgan's initiated coverage of Maya by including the company in its Keeping Stock Research series which doesn't provide forecast targets or ratings. The broker noting that Miles, Maya's sales last year were the highest since 2005. And additionally, the broker is impressed that Maya has resumed dividend payments. The Maya One loyalty program has more than 4 million active members. And Morgan suggests that with new CEO Olivia Worth aiming to replicate her previous success with the Qantas Frequent Flyer program, that could work in Maya's favour. And that is your IG macro intelligence for this week. We'll see you next week.